A Tybalt's trickery into a Tybalt's trickery into a Tybalt's trickery. Well, I don't, don't have to worry about much now. Did he just hit that again? How's it going, boys? Today on Historic, we are playing a Monomil Blue... God, I'm such a retard. It's just, it's just amazing at some points. Well, no, the, nonetheless, it is a blue deck and it is a mill deck, and this one is absolutely rage-inducing, which is the best part. We are using a bunch of pushbacks, memory lapses, counter spells, and this Archmage Charm. A lot of people were hyped about this card because it seems really good. It's counter spell, draw or steal a creature that costs one. But in reality, it only can be used in mono blue decks, so it's not the easiest card to use. Uh, disperse, whelming wave, everything. We have absolutely all the things that people dislike. Is the deck super good? No. It takes a lot of practice to also play even remotely correctly, but it is extremely fun when you get it. Drown in secrets, fey of fishes, four fey of fishes. Things like Cosmic Elixir to at least try to a little bit counterplay against those nasty burn decks, and things like Nyx Lotus. Exactly. No one expects the Nyx Lotus. And Mulong Young and Jason Ravaloge Secrets. One Ley Line of Anticipation and one Mirari Conjecture. It's pretty nice to have Ley Lines and Mirari Conjectures. It's a niche thing, so I didn't double up on them. Mulong Young. The best Planeswalker in Mono Blue decks by far. If you drop her on curve, it is absolutely amazing. And honestly, if you get to go first, and your opponent is not a one-drop aggro deck, yeah, she's a little bit overpowered even to a degree. And Jace is just fine all, all year round. So as you can see, this deck is definitely annoying. Good chance of winning games against uh, late game decks because of memory lapse, Sinister Sabotage, Not Mage Charm, and, you know, the, the real struggle is going to be those extremely aggressive 1-2 drop decks, but beyond that, we honestly have a good chance against everything. In the sideboard, Cleanse the Mind, and uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter, LA Lines of Anticipation, Into the Story, and Omn Signs. Honestly, none of this is needed, but hey, I do like to run it. We are running four Fae of Vicious, not for the sideboard, but mainly as blockers. We could technically go for Ruin Crabs, which would uh, fit thematically and it costs one less, but Fae of Vicious are flyings and they have four HP, which is a big deal uh, in a lot of situations. So, yeah, it's a deck. It's a pretty fun deck. Well, it's extremely fun. Mono Blue Pushback, while it's not the best deck yet again, I have to say, it is one of the most absolutely ecstatic decks when you just get to ruin someone's day with it. And Magic is all about ruining your opponent's life. Be it mentally, be it physically, you know you have a mission, and that mission is to make some other human being suffer, because that will make you not follow in your own misery a little bit longer. And that is a great life goal, if I do say so myself. And with that being said, if you are an absolute degenerate who wishes harm upon others, then like and subscribe, you'll, you'll fit right in. Or you can join the Discord, link in the description. Only two slots left for people who want to join after it's closed, so run, boys. And there's a Patreon link also there, you can support the channel directly. But honestly, the best thing you can do is just like the video, because that is the thing that YouTube loves the absolutely most. No questions asked. Liking the video is the best thing on YouTube. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's get a Mulung yawning and see what happens now, shall we? Let's do this. Let's see who will be uh, the better. Oh, it's a J Salvatar. Ivan. It's, it's it's just the default thing at this point. Oh, wow. I have had this exact opening two games ago. Wow. Wow. Talk about absolutely astronomically impossible odds, wizards, huh? The exact hand two games ago. Not on recording, because I just started recording, but still. The fact that this is possible... Amazing. Okay, how am I gonna play this? The next... The Lotus is so good. Especially with this. Okay, well, let's try to be greedy. 
I go first so that at least is that. If we do, uh, oh, there is a chance in that case, huh? Not having an early game kind of bad, but life gain. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, <clears throat> I know what that is. Well, everyone knows what that is, but that does not make the situation better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Oh, the good part is I do have time against this because, well, it is what it is. He, him hitting me is not bad. Well, it is technically bad, but you, you get the point. At the same time, no one cares the, the card combo. Now I... Ooh, graveyard hate. Now I... Oh my god, are you, are you for real, my dude? Are you for a real Z's, my dude? Hmm. Well, whatever. Draw a card. Ah, uh, disperse. Hmm. Nah. So what are the chances that he legitimately has the full combo there? I'd say pretty minute. Huh. I should probably play on the safe side though and just keep the disperse. I really want to use the fair fishes, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that we should play it on the safe side, on the down low. We we could use the Witch Claw Talisman to just get a counter spell if we feel like it. Ooh, man, this guy's going deep. Okay, okay, there. Okay. This will allow me to do, well, anything I wish now. So I can play either Fey of Wishes or I can play the Drown in Secrets. Hot, hot choice, honestly, you know, hot choice. Uh, feeling like I, I feel I want to force him to set up a little bit more. This is honestly probably the best matchup you can get on average. So there you kind of have it. How do I want to do this? That's five something something blah blah blah. Uh, let's draw a card first. This should be an easy one. Another next Lotus. Yeah, no, thank you. Let's see. Ooh, a land. Okay, does that change anything? Well, that just means I can play Drown in Secrets. Technically, still can play this, but what if he has a full... Full-on Baywatch team here? Huh. Okay, do we do I just want to wait and see what he does? I don't see a reason to not drop Fey of Wishes, right? Six. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's just drop the Fey of Wishes. I see no reason not to. Ooh, wow. He has a lot of gra uh, graveyard hate, honestly. Look at that. Two agonizing remorse. No graveyard allowed. Because it exiles. Also, that's a pretty good thing to mill. <laughs> Not gonna lie, boys. <laughs> That's a pretty good thing to mill. Okay, he went for the Witch Claw Talisman, which is uh, very neat. I can use this because I can just get counter spells. We do have counter spells, so it's fine. Also, you know, we can completely. By the way, Disperse completely negates his combo. There's just no question about it, really. Oh, he blitz me. Go. For the turn? Um... Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna be cute about it. River's Rebuke. River's Rebuke. Show me how much you love daddy. Say thank you. Say thank you. He is not... <laughs> he is not happy and you can probably tell it. You can probably tell it. Well, that's the whole point of this deck, so, you know. Uh, no, not exactly exemplary in that case. I want land. I want land. It's go it's gonna pay off in the long run, the lands. Especially considering we do have the Ley Lines of Undissipation in play. Maybe I want to mill his stuff. Nah, into the story is uh, sweeter. I will be able to uh, counterspell something if I do, uh, uh, see it fit. Elder spell? Man, why do you have to ruin everything? Counter target spell. Yeah. 
counter target spell for sure. Oh, he has even a little bit of ramp. A second Witch Claw, huh? Okay. And no one cares the cruel cell man. Yeah, that is the deck that you like. If I'm playing against a deck like this, I, I I'd say it's like almost guaranteed that I will have like a supremely high win rate because it it, it just is that way. Okay, getting more for the next Lotus, that's always good. Again, we do have the next Lotus for reasons like that. Technically, I can go for the Infinity Mana play with the thing that we have in our great uh, sideboard. But is it is it really necessary? I kind of feel like uh, probably that's a no. You know? Not necessary. It's there because, you know, it can be there. But I find it a little bit not that, not that required. Uh, let's leave it as it is, I guess. Yeah, let's leave it as it is. Gain a little bit of life. In full swing. In full swing. Ooh, scary. Very, very scary. I can also force a draw by uh, uh, putting the Cruel Celebrant back into business. Let's see. Well, you know, this is a card. Say hello. Also, I'm milling you a lot quite. Yeah. Well, what can I say? It is a win. It is uh, the, well, pinnacle definition of a win to a degree almost there. And a little bit more mill. And a little bit more mill. I can go for the kill on him. Oh, oh, all the Vespians down under. Okay, let's go for, let's go for the kill. Why not, right? We, we can easily, we, we can easily just shut this guy down. What are the chances that this is not gonna just uh, KO him at this point? Pretty close to zero, probably. Finally, Mulong Yang, you decided to join us. Very cool. Also, you know, the Drowning Secrets are kind of... <laughs> Got it! Got it! So, of all the games I played while making this deck, that was our first legitimately good matchup. Usually, it's something that has direct damage to face. And, well, when you're playing something that has direct damage to face, you are... You're not having a good time. Yeah, you're not having a good time. So, yeah. Direct damage to face aggro decks. Like, the, the combo you never see because it is 100% a meme, by the way. A black deck, yet again. With a ta- Oh god, that's so bad! Wow, that is so bad. Admittedly, I can't- The Kiora avatar here. Also, kinda not super good. It's not the worst, you know. It's not the worst, but... Yeah, could be better. Could be better. Okay, we have Memory Lapse into Archmage Charm, which is great. And Stern Dismissal while we're at it. Okay, this is becoming interesting. See, so he got to go for... Oh! Now I have no idea what that is, though. So, do I want to go for the Guarantee? Well, we are in this game, so let's play it. I can forge the win condition here. I can forge the win condition. I'm not sure if he has counter spells, but I'm pretty sure he he should have a counter spell at least. He should have something funky going on here. It's a four colored deck as you can see. Sky Dreamer. Oh, this is the Archmage Charm turn. Look at that, boys. Proper usage of And he by the way did not have anything. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do that in that case? Do I just want to go for the elixir and hope for the best? The Spurs will guarantee me... Well, the Spurs just guarantees me eh, nothing he does will kind of matter in the long term, I guess. Even if he drops a ball... I am a pushback deck, though. If you have a single, or for example, Ugin here... I will absolutely pound on you. Wait a minute. That's the card I used without any effect because it was bad. Do you think he legitimately has something that works here? Oh my god, did he just hit... 
Enters to you. You and your creatures have protection from chosen card type. Yeah, whatever, dude. Well, are you telling me this guy legitimately just hit gold here? That's quite insane. So what is he gonna choose? I never seen this really being played. A Tybalt's trickery into a Tybalt's trickery into a Tybalt's trickery. Well, I don't have to worry about much now. Did he just hit that again? Well! Well now, if I survive this... Again, I can bounce almost anything without any remorse or problems. That's a problem though. Dude, why does the fucking Ulamog have an effect though? Can someone please explain this garbage to me? Why? Why? Why does it have a goddamn effect? Well, pushback it is anyway. But I just did lost two lands, which is honestly a very... Well, well, I guess he just surrenders. A game has been found and someone already called ambulance. Because one person is gonna need it at the end of the day. Will it be your boy? A uh, charm, Jace? Opponent goes first, don't like that though. Hmm, depends on what he is. We have a really good chance of winning against late game decks and whatnot, but you know. Ah, uh, those one aggro drop decks. Honestly, we play far too often against them, so I'm not happy about that one, not gonna lie. Califer 050, wow. Uh, this looks like something we can win. Hello, good game. Oops, I meant to say hello. Ah, well, <clears throat> absolutely fine. Imperial Orator, you say? I'm gonna prob. Hmm. Good game. I'm gonna choose. Maybe we memory left. Hmm. Yeah, instantaneously. No questions asked. I want him to replay that instantly so I can uh, charm something that, you know, is a little bit bigger. We could have theoretically kept it and then memory elapsed, whatever it was, for example, if it's an angel. But man, these decisions, it's like, some people are gonna say, ah, misplay. No, <laughs> no. As strange as it is, I have no idea what that is. Search your library, hollow. I don't even remember this card, it's from the new set. Sacrifice the land, search your- Oh my god, they come in tapped. Untapped, I mean. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, oh! A sinister saboteur, you say? Well, that's pretty good in this case. Okay, so I can sinister saboteur something, hopefully get the five lands. My goal is currently hit five lands, drop Jay's bounce, the only creature he has. Yeah, it's a lot of micromanaging this deck. It is really good if you win. Well, it's really fun if you win. Ah, oh, well, there's no other choice. It's gonna be Sag if he drops another 2-drop. Okay, that, that's pretty much what I wanted. Good. Ah, oh, come on! Yeah, that's one of the things I really, really did not want to see. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. Okay, how, how can I deal with this, though? Is it, is it worth to drown in secrets now? The charm's gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna bounce this, so I want to counterspell it. I guess this is a fine play. So the problem is if he gets to play two cards now. You're kind of fighting against the clock a little bit. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah. Instantaneously memory lapse that. Don't, don't even question it, don't even think about it. It's just memory lapse instantaneously. I will be able to push back this to the hand, and then I will be able to draw cards, which hopefully will be enough. Oh, another one of those. Okay, okay. And there goes his dinner. And this gives us a good chance, because we are now drawing cards, which is kind of like the big, the big whole dealio. We will be able to counterspell things, hopefully that does not come to it, and there is a chance that I will just Dark Mage's Charm myself, that's why I'm trying to kind of save it a little bit. Uh, let's see if he chooses to attack face. I really doubt it, obviously, but hey. 
Also, when you when you're up against something like this, you ah yes, of course. Another drown, huh? Well, first things first, we do the draw. This purse, that is good. That is good. That will save the Jace most likely. Yeah, that will probably save the Jace. Good, 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 good. HP is here definitely a tool. I am enjoying the matchup. Oh, good, he drew a land. That's... Okay, is he gonna attack with everything? Nice? What's so nice about that, Chief? Yes, 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 be the greed. Uh, that, yeah, we win. Uh, we absolutely win. We got to the point that we wanted to get to win. You want to control your opponent and you want to start drawing cards. That is the win condition of uh, against pretty much anyone. That's why the mill doesn't matter that much here. Because we're not an all-out mill deck or anything like that. So, you know. Options. Yeah, yeah, play that. I have I have an overwhelming wave, my dude. It's gonna be fine. And now Jace can... Three? Do I go for the... No, I don't go for the land. <clears throat> no. Ooh. Now, this is an interesting option. I will be able to just memory lapse anything he plays, or I could just overwhelming wave as a general rule of thumb. I could drop a second draw. I'm still not in the clear, so I need an optimal play here. But, you know, there are so many things that you can think about here. It's like, what, or do I want to control these two creatures? Do I want to control his draw? Do I want to push myself up for a better position? Honestly, I think it's gonna be... Wait, how much do I... Oh, it does... I, I thought it's... I have only five lands because, you know, wizards things. Okay, I think it's gonna be good enough if I just go for... Ah, uh, probably this. If I draw another... Like, the idea is simple. If I draw another land... Well, the model, this is why I was thinking maybe I shouldn't scry away the land, because the lands are good here. Vito. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, th 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 this is this is kind of fine. Admittedly, Vito is, like, super annoying, and but that's why we have memory lapse and stuff. Uh, yeah. A little bit dodgy, especially everything that... Are you kidding? Wait, am I dead? Oh my god. Dude, that Vito draw is just absolutely wow. Yeah, I'm not liking that one bit. And if we if we have eight lands, we can obviously yeah. That see see things like this are really bad for a very good reason. Uh, the charm is useless. This is why we also, okay, good, got, got a land, which means we can just uh, wave it up a little bit and call it a day. Mill him a little bit, you know, it's all good. Okay, so what's the play now? Well, we're gonna memory lapse the Vito, most likely. You see what I mean? You're never in the safe zone with this. You're never in the safe zone. Like, the guy just plays a Vito and suddenly it's all, it, it, it's all falling downhill. Yeah, it always seems like we don't have enough to draw with this deck, honest to god. Well, it's it's kind of okay. We will have another blocker, and again, like, what what are the chances that he just double Vitos or something like that? Pretty small, I would assume. But yeah, as you can see, it is pretty hard doing this deck. <laughs> but it is rewarding. Oh, good, we actually got it. Okay, this is the part where you absolutely... I could actually go for it. No, no, no. It's either gonna be... Oh, good, we got we got the land. Good, 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 good. Okay, drop this. It's absolutely fine. Mill the Vito. It's gone. <clears throat> it's, it's just gone, boy. And now I can just do this. Perfection. Yeah, resetting the graveyard. We haven't hit a single Mulong Yang, which is destroy target and chop. Are you kidding me? The Who even plays that? G Dude, is this a joke? I'm sorry, is this a joke? 
That is such a joke. Destroy target enchantment. Okay, my dude. Okay. Thinking. What are you thinking about? Oh, maybe he wants... Well, it doesn't matter, but... Dawnbringer Cleric. Are you, are you legitimately joking? That is such a bad card to play under... Well, any circumstance in life, to be honest. But yeah. I, I... Yeah. Currently getting a lot of that them punishments, boys. Not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna have to... What am I gonna have to do? He just replays everything? Yeah, he literally just re... Oh, no, no, not again with this crap. Oh, good, an elixir. Okay, the elixir is fine. <laughs> the elixir is fine. Now, the only question is... Destroy target enchantment. Okay, how do I push back? What do I push back? I really want to go for that, but honestly, can I? We should have enough time here. We, we should have enough time here. I really want to use the Jace to gain stuff, but I don't think that's an option. I do not think that that is an option. That's gonna be two damage, but that's gonna that's gonna be two damage. That's gonna be a block. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses life. <clears throat> that's a three. God damn it! Why why am I playing against the deck with dumbass effects like this though? <laughs> that that's my question, wizards. Why am I playing against a deck with dumbass effects like that? I, I don't find it entertaining, I don't find it anything. He can legitimately kill me now, by the way. Yeah, well, he fucking top decked it, boys. Oh my god, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Man! This is absolutely the most stupidest deck that you can play against, but it's a perfect counter to us. Well, this video is a little bit shorter than average, but, you know, it does take roughly 5 to 10 minutes to play a game with this deck. Around 3 to 5 minutes if you're losing, and, you know, around 10 minutes if you're winning and no one does instantaneously surrender. So, you know, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it, uh, like, 2 or 3 minutes shorter, than uh, the average video, which is not honestly a big deal, but y you get the deck, you understand how it is. I personally really, really like the pushback bounce mechanic decks of Mono Blue. It is by far the weakest archetype of a deck you can ever, uh, ever physically or mentally even come up with, but it does have a charm because it's super fun if you win. And, you know, it does make you think, and it's rare to legitimately play a deck in Magic the Gathering where you are forced to think. So, you know, that's something rare. Also, you know, th this is one of those situations where people are gonna be, You may me Self-delete, you little shit lord. But, th despite that, yeah, if anyone claims that they know which was the most perfect play between 30 possibilities that this deck uh, sometimes allows you to do. Yeah, good, 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 good luck convincing me you're not a loser in real life, dude. G good luck out there. But with that being said, I do enjoy the deck. Roughly 50% win rate. Roughly 50% win rate. 55 if you play it really good. 40, 30% win rate if you're really bad with it. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, I'm not playing, like, any late-game matchups which we would be good against, because late-game decks hate playing against Drown in Secrets, because, you know, they have, like, this one or two cards that are supposed to win the game, and then Drown, uh, Drown in Secrets just mills it, and they're done. And with this amount of counter spells and a Mirari's Conjecture, which, by the way, I did not mention this, but Mirari's Conjecture can be combined with Disperse. So there you have it, that's quite the coolio thingio, you know? So yeah, anyway, this was Kuzer Sensen. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out Discord. What's with the police in it? Like, seriously, this, this did not happen last year. This year, it's just... 
every single night an old person dies. Well, that's part of the course of being old, honestly. But, well, whatever. Anyway, this was Kuzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video if you haven't. It really, really actually does help uh, the channel a lot. And have a nice day. Bye-bye. I'm waiting for all those angry comments about You can't tell me